what is good my beautiful army man we are back bro y'all see the title some hunter x hunter gameplay finally has came out man and yes we will be seeing more hunter x hunter gameplay at evo so this won't be the last review video that i will be doing on the gameplay bro but yes bro and i'm so excited i love hunter x hunter bro and i just cannot wait to get in because i got some stuff to say let's get into it now the first thing i want to say based off what i saw yes the graphics do look weird at first when i saw the graphics too it looked very it looked very weird it wasn't a bad weird or a good weird it just looked weird to me like i haven't seen that type style of graphics but then watching more gameplay on it i can see why you know it was that type of style like don't get me wrong this is still an early demo of the game early gameplay of the game so they still have some time to polish up the graphics and stuff like that but you know the graphics do look a bit weird to me that's really the only downside where i have for this game but granted even though i do not like how the graphics look i can understand why the graphics are the way they are because you know when they do their little standoff i don't like how their little standoff looks it looks like not that good but then after when they're doing like their ultimate cutscenes, you know what i'm saying and stuff like that and getting their ultimate off they look pretty good you know what i'm saying when my son gone is going into his little big form i ain't gonna lie he looking he's looking devious so i can understand why the art style of the graphics look like that for sure but at the same time it's like certain moments where it's like ugh, like you know what i'm saying bro like from like it reminds me of some like nickelodeon nintendo type game i won't lie i will not lie to you now from what people been hearing and what i've been searching on the internet and stuff i I allegedly allegedly that hunter x hunter net impact is the budget for this game is six hundred fifty thousand dollars now if i'm not mistaken that is not a lot of money for a fighter game i'm not going to lie reason being to why the roster may be only consisted of 16 characters from what we are seeing and also to why the graphics aren't looking as well because the same company that's making this game also made dnf duel and we and if you play dnf duel the fighter game bro the graphics in that game and the mechanics are pretty crispy now i'm not saying the mechanics are bad in this game but the graphics do look a bit weird from like from what i said before so you know i you know i don't know if that could be a reason but you know that is something to just definitely keep in mind now i am not going to lie i love how the demo is already looking they have six characters that you can pick from i ain't gonna lie bro they have you know what i'm saying and i love how rosters looking and all that good stuff bro but don't get me wrong the roster does look a bit small for what i'm seeing because the roster is only being consistent of 16 characters including the characters i just named bro i don't i don't i don't really like how that is because with the amount of characters that there are in hunter x hunter and i'm not talking about the dogs i'm just talking about a lot of fighters in hunter x hunter i feel like this roster should definitely be more than 25 people or at least more than 20 people but that's just me but maybe later on um when the game comes out maybe we get some dlc characters or maybe you're not know saying it might be a dlc season pass depending on how things go now just to let y'all know bro there are two other characters that are confirmed to be coming to the game that weren't on the demo roster yuvijin and machi both are coming to the game as you can see you know i'm saying there was in the showcase so yes it is also confirmed that those two are coming in the game so now we know eight characters that will be confirmed that are coming to the game so now the question is who are the eight other characters bro? and i ain't gonna lie if they got some of the phantom true i'm really hoping they got that boy you know i said chrono man because i ain't gonna lie if you know you know colo is probably one of the coldest phantom true members and that is a fact now honestly from how the game is looking right now i know it's very early to really even say because i'm pretty sure there's not even a price tag on the game yet but from how early we're looking at the game right now i'm gonna definitely say that the game's worth like at least 40 dollars or 50 dollars i really don't think this is a 60 dollar worth type game don't get me wrong i i love hunter x hunter but i just feel like a lot of things aren't there yet granted yes the game is still unpolished this is only a demo there is some things that they have to fix up but from what it's looking like you know most of the times you know when you know a demo is released they only really fix up a few of the mechanics and a few of the characters now i do definitely feel like they need to polish up the graphics because that's something that i definitely feel like you know needs to get polished up a bit more because the graphics did look a bit weird to me at first but from seeing the cutscenes and stuff i can see why they made the graphics the way they did because you know the art style of the graphics i like how the cutscenes do look with the art style of the graphics bro but that's just me though now for the mechanics the mechanics i'm liking how the mechanics is now basically the mechanics is like you know regular arcade fighter mechanics you know you have um you have you know heavy 
mid attack, low attack, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, bro. The variations. Um, mainly, it just, you know, uh, it just feels like an arcade fighter, which is definitely going to be pretty good, obviously, for a 2D fighter, bro. So, yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm not going to go to the things that I want for this game from what I've seen from the demo. Now, the first thing, more costumes. Because um, going through the character selection, as you can see, different color variations, but there's not a lot of different costumes. For there to be more costumes if there could be if they could add that uh killua did have different outfits in the anime so did gone so did a lot of other people they had different outfits in the anime and yeah you know what i'm saying color variations is cool but you know what i'm saying that's the only thing that's gonna be had that's like a bit you know like i, I feel like i wouldn't say lazy but you know like feeling like you know the characters did wear different outfits in the anime so they should add that in uh smoother graphics in my opinion i'm like i'm gonna be real like i said before the graphics do look weird to me i do feel like they still have a little bit more polishing up to do i just don't know i just don't like how you know like from like some of the characters look or how some of the characters stand maybe it's at like the angle but like from like when they're going to like their little cutscene for like their ultimate attack it doesn't look bad like, from, like it actually looks pretty good in my opinion yeah but like i said before about the you know i said them standing off and stuff it just doesn't look like as it feeling so yeah i generally feel like smoother graphics but you know um maybe but maybe we just gotta get used to looking at the graphics or you know what I'm saying? i just gotta get used to looking at the graphics the way they are you know what i'm saying because it does look you know like i said before like nintendo style I won't i won't even lie a bigger roster um there's a lot of characters there's a lot of characters in hunter x hunter that was boxing whether they played a big role or whether they didn't play a big role there's a lot of characters on hunter x hunter that be boxing so i do feel like genuinely you know this roster should you know consist of at least like more than 20 characters because only having 16 characters in this motherfucker it's crazy but granted like i said if it's a dlc situation then the game should cost like a decent around i'm gonna say around 30 to 40 dollars if they are due uh dlc passes and stuff but yeah uh just from the gameplay uh, i like how it's looking i like how everything's looking i'm hopeful for it i'm very hopeful for it if i'm giving my honest out of 10 i would really have to give it an 8 i'm not gonna lie i would have to give it an 8 but i want to get my hands on it first obviously you know what i'm saying because looks looks you know saying, from the looks it looks good it looks like a good game i'm actually pretty excited this is gonna be my first 2d fighter that i ever take seriously that i ever sit down and learn the combos for and all that good stuff but yeah but uh, i'm actually pretty excited like hunter x hunter is definitely one of my top 10 top 5 animes i'm really loving it and i cannot wait to play my boy hisoka i really hope mimaru is in this too i really hope um alumi is in this joint too because if Illumi's not in this hole oh my god and i also need the goat r.i.p kite to be in this bitch too y'all i need my son kite to be in this hole but y'all boys know what to do though please like please sub please comment i love each and every single one of y'all have a blessed day keep watching anime my beautiful army peace